Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about a sci-fi film called Coma. Be warned of spoilers ahead. Our main protagonist is Victor, an architect. He wakes up in his apartment and notices some very strange things happening, like bits and pieces of objects are decayed. He walks out the front door and tries to ask a man for help. But when the man turns around, half of his face and body is missing, just like the objects in his apartment. This causes him to rush out the building in fear, but what he sees next is even more frightening. What Victor sees is a world that is filled with decaying objects and people, mashed together in a way where normal physics cannot apply. Victor seems to be able to reconstruct some things when he focuses very intensely on them. Before he can finish exploring this weird place, he is met by a towering black creature which rushes towards him with blinding speed. He is saved, however, when a loud blast appears which stuns the creature in place temporarily. A group of three people rescues him and they flee away from the monster which is regenerating very quickly. They manage to shake off the monster, but at the cost of one of the teammates blowing himself up, and the other being injured. The girl's name in the group is Fly, and she explains to Victor that everything in this place are made out of memories of people residing here. In fact, they're currently in a coma. The black creatures they call Reapers are actually brain-dead individuals. They appear to turn others into Reapers as well. People here also seem to have unique abilities, such as the girl being able to heal our protagonist, and the other man named Phantom who appears to have super strength. The group eventually arrives at the base and we meet their leader called Yan, and it's hinted that their mission was in fact to retrieve the main character. We also learn that to keep people safe here from the Reapers, they have to constantly blow up pathways leading towards the base, since people will always remember how to come here, thus the roads always regenerate. Individuals can also dream in this world, and their dreams manifest in their bedroom. However, their leader Yan warns everyone to not go into them, since they are not like memories, and you can very easily become lost. During Victor's dreams that night, we learn that he was in a car accident before coming to this world. There are also imageries of what seems like a cult in a hospital building. When he wakes up, the dream has manifested in his bedroom. Before he heads out, we see Phantom going into Vector's room to have a not-so-friendly chat about their mutual interest in Fly. Victor did not back down from the threats, which resulted in Phantom using practice as an excuse to beat him up. However, the main protagonist was unable to figure out his abilities even under the stress of being attacked. As the days go on, our protagonist dreams of more prior events. It seems like he was trying to escape from this hospital building, but was caught in the process. We also see many individuals in hospital beds and a syringe being forced into the main character. It's likely that the car accident didn't cause him to appear in this world, but rather he was put here by the doctors. The next day, the group heads out to resupply on explosives and they bring the architect along. They are able to locate their objective thanks to a man called the Astronomer, who has the ability to draw maps in this world. They also have a woman named Spirit, who can sense the presence of Reapers making their journey all that much safer. With their combined abilities, they very easily go through a secured location with guards. However, it is here that we see Phantom losing his control and putting everyone in danger. Their original plan was to be stealthy, but Phantom ignores it and goes in guns blazing. They eventually arrive at a submarine and finds the explosives they are looking for, but to acquire it requires some time. Thanks to Phantom's prior impulsive actions, the Reapers become attracted to their location. Combine this with his horrible leadership, a team member almost dies from retrieving the bomb. Luckily, Victor figured out his abilities and used it to save the team. Apparently, he's able to create any structure his mind is able to think of. After retrieving the bomb successfully and arriving at headquarters safely, Jan finds out about Victor's abilities and reveals his master plan. He wants the architect to build a secure island where no reapers can get to. 
since it would be a creation from the imagination, no one would have any memories of the place. Therefore, they would not have to constantly blow up roads leading to it. Victor reluctantly agrees to this plan, although his current abilities are very unstable and struggles to barely make simple objects, not to mention a whole island. His power does become better though with some encouragement and suggestion from our female protagonist. This seems to have made their relationship closer as they hold hands and gaze lovingly at each other. The next day, the group prepares to move out to where they'll construct this island. Before they do, however, we see that Phantom quietly steals one of the devices which attracts the Reapers. Unsurprisingly, Spirit senses Reapers approaching them not long after they left the headquarters. Phantom suggests that they scout ahead and regroup. However, the architect is quickly attacked by a reaper, but is luckily saved by one of his teammates. We find out that Phantom has in fact planted the device in Victor's backpack, which caused the reapers to attack. We also see that his hand where he was wounded before is slowly turning into a reaper. A massacre occurs while numerous reapers shows up and most of the group is destroyed. The architect manages to run away with his team, but a bright blue light soon separates them. Incredibly, he wakes up, regains his consciousness while lying on the hospital bed. He begins to recollect his memories and it turns out that he was hired by a cult leader to build a city. Because of Victor's impractical designs, he continuously failed to get hired by any other company. His ex-girlfriend, who is now revealed to be Fly, accompanied him to the meeting. The cult leader turns out to be Jan from the dream world. He reveals his plan to put all his followers into a coma, his version of heaven. Victor refuses but unsuccessfully tried to escape. This resulted in both him and his girlfriend being put into the coma world. After Victor wakes up, we see that Jan has woken up as well. He threatens Victor that if he doesn't build the island like they agreed, he would kill everyone on the hospital beds. Forced with little option, the main protagonist goes back into the dream world once again, but this time he was given a medicine which boosts his powers. Victor saves the group right before a reaper can get to them, and brings them to the place where they are supposed to build the island. Victor tells them the truth about this world, how it's only a dream and their real bodies are in fact lying on a hospital bed. Jan arrives as well and is disappointed at Victor for revealing the secrets. He demands the architect to construct this island like they agreed. Victor closes his eyes and begins to draw out his plans. As we see, a futuristic city emerges. The architect manages to deliver his deal, but Jan betrays them and plans to kill all of them. He claims that no one who knows the truth about heaven can exist in heaven, since they would spoil it for the others. He also reveals his justification for this dream world, since many of the people in here have major disabilities in the real world. He offers them a reality that is much better than the alternative. Jan's follower then unplugs the oxygen supply for everyone. We see that one by one, the teams are turned into ashes as their brains die out. Victor theorizes that the only way for them to wake up from this coma is to go into their dreams in this world. They rush back to the headquarter and enters Victor's dream portal. It becomes very hard for them to navigate here since the environment is not based on memories, but rather interpretations and imaginations. Nonetheless, they eventually find the correct location, the last bit of detail that Victor remembered before he passed out. A picture of Egypt that was hanging in front of his bed. However, the astronomer ran out of oxygen and died as well, leaving only the couple. As they walk forward, they realize Jan is here as well, waiting for them. A physical confrontation begins, but Victor is not strong enough. Just before Jan can make the finishing blow, a reaper stabs him from the back. It turns out that the reaper is in fact Phantom, who decides to help them out at the last moment. Before Victor wakes up, we see his girlfriend turn into ashes as well. He wakes up and immediately tries to resuscitate his girlfriend. Luckily, Victor manages to save her, and the two slowly makes their way out of the building. The other cult leader hesitates, but allows them to leave, presumably because they realize that Jan, their leader, is now brain dead. 
So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.